What's up, good people? Mark Holmes here, and as always, I want to say thank you all for watching, commenting, subscribing, and being part of the Joe Boo Sports Report. Without you guys, as well as you ladies, you know that this literally does not work. Hope everybody's having a great, finally, freaking Friday. I am having a good one. Um, just got some breaking news. I'm here running to Home Depot, uh, working down in my cellar. They're making like a little workshop and workbench and storage and things because my wife wants the closet upstairs where I got some tools and things in there. So, you know, I got to make space for my shit. Anyway, be that as it may, we have some breaking news that definitely affects the Dallas Cowboys. The Cowboys have released Leighton Vander Esch. Leighton Vander Esch uh, was reported, um, I believe, a I think I did a video on it yesterday that Leighton Van Der Esch, uh, would be retiring. Um, an announcement will be coming in the next couple of weeks. The Cowboys have kind of gone through and basically said, you know, when Stephen Jones was asked about Leighton Van Der Esch was, you know, you know we'll, we'll have to talk to Leighton Van Der Esch and stuff. So you basically let him know or letting you know that it was his decision to do something. Now, here's the thing. Getting rid of Leighton Van Der Esch or releasing Leighton Van Der Esch frees up about $2 million, a little over two. So we've just doubled our cap space. Wait, there's more. And in another move, and as people go through and they want to talk about Dak Prescott is sucking up all the money and we're overpaying him and listening to the guys on 105 The Fan that say, you know, I'm done with Dak Prescott. You know, unless he can take a contract kind of like what Kirk Cousins did for forty-five million, or uh, Sam, or excuse me, Baker Mayfield, where he's like thirty-five million or whatever it is. Um, here's the thing: I hear what you're saying, but the cap hits haven't been that bad. It's kind of funny because we got guys that are making fifteen million more a year, and somehow their cap number isn't anything like a guy who's only making forty. But be that as it may. One of the reasons why we have cap issues is because of some of the contracts that have been done. And one of the ones that I have been actually pounding on the desk and saying was ridiculous at the time was signing Michael Gallup. Now, don't get me wrong. I've met Michael Gallup in Atlanta at the uh, Super Bowl. He was doing work with United Way. Love Michael Gallup. Great guy. Guy who had all kinds of potential and things. That sophomore year of his where he had over 1,100 yards, you were like, oh, my God, we got ourselves a receiver. But the thing about it was his third year, he was down to 800 and some uh, yards, started dropping down. The next year was like 480 or 460 or something like that. And he was injured a lot. And he ended up getting his contract after that one. It's like, I don't understand how the Cowboys would look and say, well, his production has been going down for the last three, you know, the last two years. And he's torn his ACL. Let's go ahead and sign him to an $11 million a year deal. And then they restructure it last year, which is part of the reason why the number is so high this year. And which is part of the reason why releasing him, the Cowboys will save $9.5 million in the cap this year. Which is great. However, you're going to have some more of that money. That money, that cap hit, is going to be on next year's. You still are responsible for 13 of the 13 eight. And it's just divided up. See, what I want you to understand, when you hear about a June 1st cut, that means you're taking the hit over two seasons. Understand that we're taking a dead hit still of $6 million this year for Zeke Elliott. We're also taking a dead money hit because they restructured Tyron Smith, $6 million this year. So when you look at the cap numbers and everybody talks about the six you know, 59 million for Dak Prescott. Understand that we this year have close to $20 million in dead money because of contracts that were messed up. So at least the Cowboys will spread it out. Now, here's the problem with the post June 1st hit. It's kind of like a, um, like a CD. Okay. You get a bank CD. If you use it ahead of time, you're, you, you basically lock it in. It's locked in. If you try and take it out ahead of time, you got to pay big penalty to take it out. So you can't take it out. In some cases, you can't take it out. And that's how this is with the post June 1st. You don't get the $9.5 million until June 1st to be able to use it. It's there, but you can't use it until then. So he's still on the books until June 1st, but he can go out and try and make a deal with somebody else. So 
we will at least have about $4 million in cap space right now. Um, and they may be making this move because they haven't finalized the contract yet for Eric Kendrick, so they may need that space. Um, something else I was going to talk about a little bit later, though, is with um, uh, the quarterback from Pittsburgh being traded to the Eagles and um, Mac Jones being traded and seeing some of the compensation, Sam Howell being traded and such. I'm kind of surprised that the Cowboys haven't traded either Cooper Rush or Trey Lance. You know what I'm saying? Um, if you could trade Trey Lance, because I'm looking at some of the, you know, you, you could at least maybe get that draft pick back, which we really need, and maybe save five and a half million dollars. Or if you traded Cooper Rush, you're talking about two and a half million dollars. So those are two places that you could actually get some compensation possibly and some cap relief. And I'm surprised that it's like musical quarterbacks right now, with the exception of Justin Fields. The Bears thought they were going to be able to trade him for like a first round pick and stuff. And it seems like that compensation has been going down. But I would think, you know, Cowboy fans think that he is the next starting quarterback for the Cowboys and um, that he's great. Looking at somebody like Sam Howe, looking at Mac Jones, and um, and so on, and seeing these guys being traded and, you know, getting, I think Sam Howe was basically, I think Washington gave up their fourth and six, and Sam Howe, and, and they got back a third and a fifth. So they moved up those picks with Seattle. Um, granted, Seattle's picks are going to be a little bit lower. I mean, you know, further down, but you're going into the other rounds. Surprising that the Cowboys haven't done anything with those two quarterbacks. Because I don't know that, we, you know, when we look at it with the Cowboys, between Cooper Rush and um, Trey Lance, you got $8 million there and another fifty nine. You got $65 million tied up at quarterback right now, which is kind of insane. So... We'll see if the Cowboys do anything with any of this stuff here. I've got some stuff to take back to Home Depot. And i got to buy some more shit. Because that's what we do. We buy, and we trade, and we sell, and everything else, and so on. Might be easier just to open up the back door and grab that stuff. Or if I had Stretch Armstrong on it. All the shit I didn't use. All right, good people. Um, we're under 500. Under 500 away. Peace.